I want to start with uh, the Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Gates conversation. Bill Gates went on PBS. Foolishly, I would he say. 29 months of Arjun. Yep, that's right. Billiam, Billiam Gates was went on PBS NewsHour and David Judy Hassel Woodruff just David fucking Hassel tore him a new David asshole. Hassel. Let's start with that one. That's where, that's where I want to go with today. The first and first story of our day. Yeah, old Billy, old Billy Bob. Reported at that time uh, that you had a number of meetings with Jeffrey Epstein who, when you met him 10 years ago, he was convicted of soliciting prostitution from minors. What did you know about him when you were meeting with him, as you've said yourself, uh, in the hopes of raising money? Uh, you know, I had... The sand comfortable has come. I just want to repeat this question for you guys who did not understand it. Judy Water of PBS's NewsHour is saying, Hey, Bill, why did you meet with convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein? Like, why did you know that he was a convicted pedophile and decided to meet with Jeffrey Epstein? Like, what's up? You good? Like, and he's not just like a pedophile. He's a, he's a sex trafficker, too, on top of that. So what happened there? Can you please explain that to us? And let me tell you something. Spoiler alert. Bill is not going to be able to explain it. Uh, you know, I had dinners with him. Uh, I regret doing that. He had relationships with uh people he said you know would give to global health which is you know who else he had relationships with Scare children face. that he sex trafficked that's right the question is what the fuck are you doing with a convicted sex offender knowing full well that he's a convicted sex offender and well, bill's Bill answer Gates is ah, i don't know he's got money he knows people with money about him is the, his best uh, strategy, interest i have he you know not nearly enough philanthropy goes in that direction uh, you know, those meetings were were a mistake. They didn't result in uh, what he purported, and I cut them off. You know, that goes back a long time ago now. Uh, there's, you know, so there's nothing new on it. Uh, come on, it was a long time ago. It's like, dude, dude, you're one of the wealthiest people on the planet, dude. You're Bill fucking Gates. You didn't need Jeffrey Epstein and his help for money, okay? You literally have the most money. You have the most money. There is no, there's like eight people that have more money than you. What the fuck are you talking about? And it's not like Jeffrey Epstein is the only way you can get to the other eight people that have more money than you. You're Bill Gates. It's fucking stupid. And the real reason is, of course, because he's a fucking dumbass. Okay. Well, one, he's a dumbass. And two, and this is something that I want everyone to recognize, okay? We're going back to point one. Billionaires are not smarter than the average person, okay? They have more resources than the average person. They have better PR teams than the average person. But he's just a guy, okay? Bill, old Billy Bob here, just a guy. Just a guy with godlike levels of power. He's like a demigod that walks amongst us because, you know, that's the kind of money he has. But he's just a guy without his money he's just taking a shit in his own bathroom you know showering daily wearing fucking you know weird crew neck sweaters he's just a guy okay and that's part of the reason why he was dumb enough to meet with jeffrey epstein and think that it wouldn't actually go anywhere and he was dumb enough to go on this PBS news hour. Like, because he's a guy. He's just, he doesn't, you know, to get, just remove that thought out of your mind. The, the, the peasant brain attitude that all, some of you still have that capitalism is beaten into your fucking brain that like these guys are well deserving of their wealth because, you know, they are, they, they're just like, extremely hard workers that also worked really smart and yada yada it's like no they're not brilliant they're not fucking geniuses they're just dudes okay they got lucky they worked hard sure they were definitely not uh held back by their morality and that's evident in his decision making here as well 
when he's meeting up with Jeffrey fucking Epstein. Not. It was reported that you continue to meet with him over several years. Um, and that, in other words, a number of meetings. Um, what did you do when you found out about his background? Well, and, you know, I've, I've had multiple other dinner dates with him. Like, first of all, what did you do when you found out about his background? He went on a fucking meeting with him. That's what he did. Like, you think a guy like Bill Gates doesn't do deep background checks? Like, doesn't have a team of like a hundred people doing deep background checks on every single person that he allots his time to? Are he crazy? Of course, he fucking knew, and he didn't care. I said I regretted having those dinners, uh, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing new on that. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking looking at this? Well, he's dead, so. Uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. Uh, I mean, AOC came on your show, so maybe not. Dog. I'm one of the largest fucking leftist content creators on this planet at the moment. Okay? And I also am not a fucking pedophile sex offender, sex trafficker who went to jail. Are you really making a comparison of AOC coming on to my fucking broadcast that was broadcasted out to hundreds of thousands of people? To Bill Gates meeting up in secret with a fucking pedophile sex offender? Are you insane, dude? The answer is yes, you are insane. Of course, subscribe for fucking nine months. Nine months subscriber, the curse, dude. The brain rot. It is, it's just seeped into his fucking orifices. It's like oozing out of all of his fucking orifices, like the brain rot. And, you know, the, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of what we've done in philanthropy, very proud of the work of the foundation. Uh, you know, I, that's, that's what I get up every day and focus on. Huh. Incredible stuff. Anyway, yeah, he's focusing on his philanthropy, dude. My favorite part of that interview is where he goes, well, he's dead. So, you know, take that They're lesson. Having those dinners. Uh, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing. New. You found out about his background. Well, and, you know, I've said I regretted having those dinners. Uh, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing new on that. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking, looking at this? Well, he's dead. So, uh yeah, that's the lesson, dude. The lesson is like, don't try to fucking use, uh, you know, pedophile sex traffickers against Bill Gates. Oh, Billy boy. Well, he's dead, so, you know. The lesson is what, dude? Like, what the fuck kind of, what is that answer? Like, what, what is that answer? What, what is the lesson there then? Well, he's dead. Anyway, the lesson is that two people can keep his the lesson is that two people can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Anyway, you know. If you mess with Bill, you get the kill. Yeah. Interesting stuff there. Uh, obviously, like, Melinda has been popping off using uh, the, like, a lot of the fucking Bill Gates Epstein stuff came out. A lot of the Bill Gates Epstein stuff came out as a consequence of Bill and Melinda breaking up. by the way because uh the daily beast did like 11 articles on bill gates like being a fan of jeffrey epstein thinking that jeffrey epstein was his ticket to a nobel prize and how melinda gates actually told 
uh bill not to meet with jeffrey epstein apparently i don't know if that's real or not but you know it sure does make sure does make melinda look good i mean it, it feels like fuck it feels like melinda's just winning this divorce dude bill doesn't even have a divorce body like he doesn't have a revenge body yet what the fuck's he doing nothing You trust her? No. The fuck do you mean you trust her? I trust Melinda Gates' take on this to a degree. We know that he met with fucking Jeffrey Epstein numerous times. So I trust that. Do I trust that Melinda Gates was like actually fucking routinely advocating against meeting up with Jeffrey Epstein? Uh, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I was talking to my girlfriend's stepdad. He was telling me about how the illegal immigrants have single-handedly caused the new rise in COVID cases. He then went on to tell me that ivermectin is good. Two months ago, he was in the hospital for COVID and only got the vaccine because of the Air Force made him. And maybe he shouldn't have gotten it, you know? Do you wish you could have shamed surgically removed like Peter Ducey? Yes. I would be significantly more, I would be significantly uh, better at everything. Anyway, so like the reason why I love this story though, is because like it's good old fashioned billionaire bashing, but it's also like, like I mentioned already, it's just like a perfect, it's a perfect representation. Like, listen, these guys are just dumb, just as dumb as your dad. Okay. That's it. They're just as fucking dumb as your dad and your mom and you. They're not super. They're not like, they don't have any like unique. They don't have anything unique going on. They're just, they're just rich guys. Okay. And some of them are just fucking pure evil and don't give a fuck. And will like link up with a, with a sex trafficker of minors because they think that that sex trafficker of minors is a ticket for this person to have a more active role within circles that that sex trafficker of minor is, minors is engaging in. Okay. So that's it. Stammering immediately, Gates appears to be fiddling with his now non-existent wedding ring as he began to formulate a response. You know, I had dinner with him. I regret doing that. Woodrowfire pointed out that Gates continued to meet with Epstein for several years after their first encounter in 2013. Just for you to recognize, like, this is way, way after, like, everybody knew Jeffrey Epstein was a convicted sex offender. But it's that kind of psychopathy, that sociopathic uh, approach. And that lack of care and that confidence, really, that probably allowed him to become as wealthy as he did. So that's what it is. It's not because he's meeting up with pedophiles that he's at the level of wealth that he is. It's because he doesn't give a fuck. You know? What? Defending and excusing and making excuses for a pedo is a lefty thing to do. Lefty pedo means lefty pedo. Move on. You think billionaire Jeffrey Epstein and billionaire Bill Gates are lefties, like anti-capitalist? Do, do words ever have meaning for you? Do you think Jeff Bezos is a lefty too? 